focus at the moment, but yeah. it's a, a nice airy room. Again, evidence of the branding that you that you you mentioned outside. A little bit more literature in here on the various things that we can that we can provide. And in time, a little workstation here with a, a plasma screen on the wall there and uh, yeah. and a keyboard, so we can highlight the treatments that we do as well. Okay. Now, uh, next door's room is is the admin office, so we probably don't need to take you in there. Although I have to say, it's surprisingly neat and tidy because our admin offices can sometimes be a flipping nightmare. Um, but just a, a final comment really about the way the building's operating. What I'm hearing you say is dentist in one room, uh, therapist in the next room. So I'm getting a clue there as to the way that you're trying to move the, 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 the practice forward. Um, am I right in supposing that what's happening is that a lot, a lot of the standard maintenance work is falling on the shoulders of the therapist yeah, absolutely. and then you're, you're looking to try and do the more complex treatment yeah, on top. And, and that's the way I wanted to go further and further. I, th I think uh, we've got the potential to actually move up another floor here, there's another floor on the building so the office that you mentioned could actually go upstairs, yeah. that could become a third surgery and I think I would be really tempted to actually have two therapists alongside me right. uh, just carrying on doing that because we run the uh, so therapist based assessment system very successfully where the therapist is having a half hour appointment and doing the patient's routine examination which obviously I'm uh, stepping in at some point just to check that everything yeah. check that everything's as it should be as, as part of the exam going prescribing a treatment that the therapist to do mm -hmm. but that's working very well and I could actually see it working just as well with another therapist or maybe another dentist therapist combination on. Okay. Now, one of the questions I get, and interestingly, I did a workshop yesterday where we were talking about therapist based assessment, and dentist puts his hand up and says, uh, can't possibly work in our village, mm. and, and this is way down in the Midlands, can't possibly work in our village because my patients have been coming to the practice for years and they like to see the same dentist every time and uh, in actual fact the very words that we use was that if I tell my patients I'm going to palm them off on a therapist uh, there's going to be a revolution. So, so here we are in another village yeah. in South Yorkshire. Now we, we know what the reputation of Yorkshire people is, uh, to, certainly in terms of speaking the mind. Um, you've implemented this therapy-based system over the last two years, possibly twelve. Probably months. not even quite. Yeah, yeah. Months, yeah. Um, What's been the response? Well, it's been a good response. I, yeah. guess I wouldn't ask you unless yeah. I knew that. But how how have you managed to communicate? to the patients that whereas in the good old days you used to see the dentist twice a year and the hygienist twice a year, we're now doing a different thing. So how do you get that message across? Uh, I, I think there's two ways I'd answer that. First and foremost is everything that you're showing in the practice because we've branded the practice about the practice and not about me. Mm. People have a slightly different expectation of what, what treatment they're going to receive and as long as they get that same level of customer care throughout the building, then I think they're reasonably happy. But we've just explained to them that they're actually getting a longer time with the therapist for that examination appointment and a much longer appointment to have the teeth thoroughly cleaned and, and looked after and any advice that might be needed, which, you know, as adults, which most of our patients are slightly older, older adults, that's probably more important and more likely to be a problem as they get older than, than dental decay. So that, you know, we just explain to them all that they're getting a much better service from us uh, with, with seeing the therapist twice a year for a longer appointment. And, and it's been, honestly, 100% accepted. And I remember talking to you two years ago saying it can't be done in our village, just like everybody does, but it can be done anywhere. It's just, I think it's creating the right environment and having the initial five, 10 minutes to, to explain what's going to happen next time. So it's not just a surprise. Uh, and then it works great. And the bottom line, obviously, is always the numbers. So if we were going to look at average daily productivity, yeah. Um, as far as you and the therapist are concerned, have you got any numbers around that? Average is, myself is probably around between two and a half and three thousand a day, and the therapist is around about the, just around about a thousand pound mark. Alright. But that's so, taking into account the fact that we run, you know, capitation system. Yeah, and you're nominal, you're, you're the the numbers numbers eight, yeah. numbers too. So, right? yeah. so we've got one dentist in here, two and a half to three thousand pound a day, four yeah. days a week. And we've got a therapist in here who's around about a thousand pounds a day, yeah. four days a week. Yeah. Uh, that makes for a really successful business, doesn't Fantastic. it? Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. Great. And what's the future if we said the next three years? Uh, what's going on in? The I think well, the future here is probably that I would like to spend slightly less time clinically, so I can spend more time developing this business and other business ideas that have you mentioned the clinic down the road. Uh, I have 
through you, as you know, uh, got quite a, a good relationship with a guy who's doing GPT in Newcastle at the moment. He's really keen to come on board when he's finished that. As I said, I think almost another therapist dentist combination, probably. And I'd probably hand over the responsibility for the maintenance book to a another dentist yeah. and a another therapist. Use Laura as a therapist here at the moment to look after the new patients that I'm going to be seeing. Uh, I'm doing the slightly more complicated work, the, the cosmetic work and the implants, like you said. Uh, and using the rest of the time to keep driving the marketing to keep ensuring that those patients keep coming through the door. And we're, final question from me, we're, we're, I mean we are in a very beautiful but very small village mm -hmm. in South Yorkshire. There's fields in every direction. Uh, how many miles to Sheffield from here? It's uh, about 15, I think. 15 Sheffield, miles north, yeah. uh, north of Sheffield and Sheffield you know is very well serviced by yep. a lot of very good dentists. Mm -hmm. Uh, Barnsley's over there, yeah. and uh, we've got Leeds, 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 Leeds all there. Yeah. There's plenty of dentistry around. Mm -hmm. do, do you ever get worried about the fact that you're going to run out of patients, or that it's all going to just suddenly plateau and start to decline? I think if I'm honest, everybody has those worries, they don't end up going to be human if we didn't. But I like to think that we're providing something that's very special, and you know, we're spending a lot of time and investing a lot of money in the marketing and the practice which is key to, to bringing new people through the door. You know, we've just recently redeveloped the website. We've already had several emails saying, I've had a look at your website, I think it's fantastic, I'd like to come as a new patient. Yeah. So, you know, just all the stuff that, that we've talked about and you've helped us with really is, is continuing to drive people through the door. And number one has always been, and I hope will always be, word of mouth from happy patients recommending the friends. You strike me as a very confident guy. And, uh, uh, and I think, is it fair to say that that confidence rubs off on the patients as well? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think that's key, certainly in what I call the current economic times, although, you know, we haven't really seen any, any change in our business. If anything, it's continued to grow. I think if you, you know, provide that feeling of confidence to the patients about the practice, about the work you can do, about what level of service they're going to expect, then that's contagious and it rubs off on them. And from, as I said, from referrals to other friends of theirs, so it, it obviously does, because that's where the bulk of our new patients still come from. Brilliant. Okay, well there's Alex Jones in Peniston, and uh, I'm going to really end with a cliche, uh, which is, do you know what, if you can do it in South Yorkshire, you can do it anywhere. So thanks for listening. <laughs>